Hello everyone. The famous Nelson Mandela once quoted, "The greatest glory in winning never falling, but in rising every time we fall." With this beautiful quote, I, Sankranti Devi, want to wish everyone a very warm good evening and good morning to our respected speaker for today's session. We are virtually gathered here. to have an interactive session with a famous personality who is none other than Dr. Rubul Mauth all the way from Harvard University of USA therefore not wasting much time i would like to formally welcome each and well each and every one especially our speaker for today's session to this virtual program on behalf of the entire organizing committee of department of zoology sodor college department of zoology kohati university and zoological society of assam at the onset i would like to call upon our respected dr anjan kumar ojha sir the principal of sodwar college kohpur to formally inaugurate the webinar over to you sir thank you uh, good evening everyone and good morning to dr rubul maut we are extremely privileged to have dr rubul maut uh the fellow of harvard university in today's program as chief guest i on behalf of soidura college fraternity would like to welcome dr rubul maut for sparing his valuable time and adorning the program truly speaking dr maut is a real inspiration to people especially the budding aspirants who has passed through all barriers and been standing tall on world stage an iconic personality as such dr maut epitomizes the ideal that uh, indomitable mental strength and devotion uh, devo devotion uh, always scales success in life despite the obstacles and problems rampant in very work of in every work of life dr maut is a role model for our student community and hope his illustrious illustrious life journey would be a real pathfinder for larger interest of mankind i extend heartiest thanks to all the dignitaries of zoological society of assam Based on uh, Department of Geology, Kohati University, who have collabor collaborated with the Department of Geology, Shoydua College, for inviting such a reputed personality like Dr. Mao. I hope that our students, especially our students community, will get inspiration for their life from Dr. Mao's journey from. Koilaspur village to Washington, Harvard University. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Ojha sir, for your beautiful words. Now moving on, as sir has already said, we have M. S. Sir, an eminent personality, Dr. Rubul Mauth, who will be interacting with us. But before that, I would like to request Dr. Jyotish Mita Das, Assistant Professor of Nogao College, to kindly introduce the speaker. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Miss Sankranti Devi, and I am very fortunate enough to introduce Dr. Rubul Maut in this platform. Dr. Rubul Maut is a fellow researcher at the Harvard Medical College, Harvard University, and at the Stem Cell Program, Boston Children's Hospital. Born, brought up, and educated in Assam, India. Dr. Maud moved to the United States to pursue his PhD from the University of Massachusetts. Prior to joining Harvard, he was a Washington Research Foundation uh, uh, Innovation Fellow at the Institute for Protein Design, University of Washington. At Harvard, Dr. Maud works to engineer bone marrow stem cells to cure genetic disease of blood uh, of blood origin. Dr. Mauth uses various techniques, including techniques he invented in his prior research to engineer these HSCs. In particular, he uses 
patient derive induced pluripotent stem cells to differentiate them to HSS first and then to produce T cells that could potentially fight off many diseases. Dr. Maud is the author of more than 35 research articles and the inventor of numerous technologies in gene editing and protein design. In 2020, he was granted a patent on intracellular protein delivery for gene editing in mammalian cells by USPTO, that is United States Patent and Trademark Office. His research has been featured in numerous media, including a many do documentary uh, produced by Lab TV and the National Institute of Health and in a Fisher video by American Chemical Society, that is ACS. Dr. Maut is also the author of two books. One is Thukharat Honghato Sravan and Moroeta Hopunase, a collection of short stories and his biography in his native language, Assamese. His book depicts his extraordinary journey from a very poor farmer's family in a far remote corner of India near Assam or Nassau border. The book has been an instant bestseller and since its first publication in 2017, it has been reprinted more than 20 times till June 2021. This book also included widely in school, college, and university curriculum across Assam. His upcoming book is the English version of his biography. Apart from this, I am very happy to introduce Dr. Rubul Maud as an alumnus of Department of Chemistry, Guwahati University. So now, without taking much time, I would like to invite today's center of attraction, Dr. Rubul Maud, to start his session. Over to Dr. Maud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for very kind introduction. And, uh, and thank you, everybody. To Ben Kolta, sir, sir, I have a contact with my hair. Yes, I have a mail account. And, um, and, and everybody, um, um, sorry, we're called um, Zoological Society. Is it audible? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is audible. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank, thank you. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, um, thank you all. Um, um, usually, I, um, you know, I, more, uh, yeah, I got a different meeting. Um, I, I, I tell everybody that um, usually I, you know, I don't come a lot. <laughs> I'm a little bit quiet. <laughs> um, but sometimes I do because I think uh, you know, sometimes students can get, you know, benefited. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what, you know, if I have a lot to speak, but like, you know, whatever I speak, maybe you know, some, some people, some students, if um, they get benefited. So that's the whole reason why I come. Otherwise, you know, as I said, I'm very quiet. <laughs> um, um, so, um, so, um, so I'm Mahatma Duta. I my program So, um, so, and um, you know, I told everybody that um, I I don't have anything to like you know give a lecture or anything uh, unless it is my science, obviously. Um, so, um, and you know, for science, obviously, um, it also requires a you know different kind of platform because then. And the audience will be benefited by the kind of science I do. Um, so you can um, call sir. It can be interaction, and um, because I think um, that is the you know like for this audience. I, I mean, maybe that's the you know most practical and useful. Um, so I will him also. I got to do the meeting photo. That will make interaction with the student level. So um, so you um, can so, um, so, um, as I said, um, you know I have not prepared any. Talk or anything will talk and Zimanzi got a top ultimately to a stop question like Ahi Aru ultimately got high Kahini Pota higher. So Zuadu Tabu Hayatamoy to compass the same questions. And so some people uh, might be, um, you know, they might participate in the previous two meetings and they might find it extremely boring because <laughs> I don't have anything new to talk about. Uh, and so, but um, can you? Um, so we'll, we'll start, but before um, today, I thought you know before we start, before we start talking about you know like uh, interactions and all, I thought um, I'll I'll say something about I'll you know I, I have a request for the new generation, so I thought you know before I forget that um, I'll just you know, speak that and then uh, and then we'll open for everybody. So um, 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 the time has been extremely difficult right, for everybody. Um, and um, it's a very challenging time uh, for entire humanity. 
Um, so, you know, um, Ovila Hile, um, it's a you know, very um, dangerous um, and, you know, economy and everything is down, right? Our mental health is down. Um, so, uh, but ultimately one thing stood out and that is science, right? And, um, you know, science, science stood up for it. And, and, and within a year we have a vaccine now and um, we have vaccines, we have diagnostic tools and, you know, the entire scientific community just stood up for it. And um, so and now if we look back at the history of science, um, so I mean, the people the the COVID most likely, I mean, vaccine But the I mean, diagnosis, but care, but we not the disease hormone disease like associated with the I mean, one of the reasons why we got a vaccine so early, like uh, even less than a year actually, um, January, I mean, uh, you know, by November, we have a vaccine. Uh, it's less than a year. This is like, this is a height of science. And this is like, um, you know, this is one of the most marvelous thing about humanity. Um, so, and one of the reasons why it happened is that um, in if we look back at, uh, again, look back at genetics back at, and, you know, you know, who, he, like how science was done in the last 40 years. So one thing we see that um, um, the understanding of genes and understanding and, you know, making new technologies for, uh, for, um, for um, like genome sequencing. Um, you know, this is like, in, it's written in history. And in 1980, um, I mean, Sanger sequencing of an and it's Sanger sequencing it. You know, I hope most of the people here are Zulozi, so I don't have to define everything. Um, you know, so um, gene sequencing, you know, 19, late 1975 or Prahile, our 1980s or Prahile, process ambul, that was a human genome sequencing, I do as a genome sequencing competition. That was a technological revolution in terms of gene sequencing. This all played a role. Uh, all played huge, huge role, um, you know, in fighting today's COVID. And um, so, so the, uh, as I mean, Ebosso, we don't have vaccine to hold. I mean, the Ebosso, we want to grow up to demand money, to put it, I mean, the demand that some value of file. This actually, this has a, you know, like backdrop. It is a like a huge technological advancement um, that happened in, you know, bioelectron microscopy, in sequencing, in, 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 you know, in vaccine technologies everywhere. And the, you know, I'm a, I'm a native lover. I'm a hero. I mean, instantaneous hero power, but not to, you know, some people took like, you know, really um, initiative for fighting this. But uh, there's a huge background and there's a huge, like, you know, like step by step technological revolution. And so many people contributed to this revolution. And every scientist's work was, you know, it's like I always keep telling people, like, you know, when you ask a scientist, what is your contribution? And the contribution of a scientist is like a drop of water in ocean. You know, every drop matters, every drop, drop matters. But again, you know, your contribution may not be the entire ocean. Uh, it just may be the drop of water. And same thing happened to our, all this technological revolution. You know, um, I'm not sequencing of more bio to so you know, because it, it played an instrumental role in fighting this COVID. So um, anyway, so, you know, <laughs> all is good, everything is good. You know, we are getting back after COVID and all. But the uh you know, as we get to both young generation and participate for each other. Um so I have a request for you. Um, think about you know taking science as a career. Because um think very seriously because um common is not high about is not hyper, but hardware is not hyper. I mean cook PC, I mean we cannot have a contribution to a um, I'm education to take care of it, but like when it comes to contribution, real contribution, we don't have much, and we have to acknowledge that very sincerely. We cannot be just like, you know, oh, I mean, India zero of We cannot keep, uh, you know, speaking those things. Um, so um, today, I want to request all the young generation that um, think about, um, you know, taking science as a career, and and more to how more I call more bond to you know, when you take science as a career, uh, you may not get a lot of glamour. Um, you know, like some people get glamour in some different disciplines, but in science, most likely you won't get. 
But um, as I said, you know, you will be a drop of water in the ocean, and that would be extremely important for the survival of humanity. Um, so, bohut costa hogo, bohut alge. You have to find your own way. Nizo bad nizi, you know, nizi kati lovo lagi. Kino chot habio, zonotar sartar, manhor sartar. Amatvalko onu kunge, amatvalko onto ta. Am asi participate kora, isu hoin koke, koke bekiyanto. Um, okay, serious at a very seven of our career options um, because um, you know humanity needs all of you. Um, so, yeah, so he he got a little more as even more Pavisu. I will pass up over five years and cross the day. You know, Pahu is okay. You got a little cool. Um, so, 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 okay, uh, yeah, I mean, we can start questions and cross them. It's, it's it's Doctor, participant said, you question so I think chat box of a hoodie, the moderate I think um, that is also good. Okay. Then or, you know, if somebody directly, uh, if someone directly wants to interact, that is also good as long as you know the topics are diverse. <laughs> okay. Sankranti, you please carry on the session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, till now, I have seen uh, two questions. Uh, so not two questions actually. It's uh, just um, they have just uh, asked, sir, about your uh, book, Muru Eta Hapuna Se. So uh, uh, Bornali and Pubali have asked almost the same. I uh, have uh, told about the same thing that uh, Bornali is from class eight. Uh, she has uh, sent you a mail of your book review about a uh, book on Muru Eta Hapuna Se and she's really pleased that uh, she's really pleased to uh, she's really pleased and also she'd be very grateful if you give some life lessons to her. <laughs> life lesson key key lesson this nice uh, life lesson to her both <laughs> both got her like, there are many dimensions of life right so I think basic you can tell a few Thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, she's, she's it, just from class eight. She's a class eight girl. Okay. Yeah. So the you know the main life lesson, um, maybe you know, like uh, again, it depends on the circumstance. You know, who am I talking to and what moment I am. In. Um, but like you know, since <laughs> right now I'm in in present circumstance. Um, so uh, you know, like um, as I said, um, we cannot have either, and that's that's life basically. You know, like thinking about humanity is life and. And as I said, uh, you know, you may not get a lot of uh, glamour and all, but you know, at the end of the day, I mean, uh, it's important to continue to society, right? And uh, and there will be struggle, as I said. Um, you know, everybody goes through struggle. And no human being actually uh, are free of that. And so ultimately, you have to you know stand up and stand up for your cause, and and think about you know time, take serious. Uh, we have another question uh, from Nishita Kalita. She has asked uh, that uh, how did you prepare for your GRE examination? Most GRE has been very difficult. So this is you know the, everything has been changed. I think your best friend would be Google, and there will be lots of resources. In Google. I would I'd suggest you, you know, read. Like, if you are serious about GRE, um, you just read from Google or from all the forums. And this is also this applies for um, everybody. Uh, the both more question Python. actually, uh, if you're really serious, you have to use online tools and you know really obsess about it and figure it out. And I, I don't think like asking one person will get a great answer because everybody has different styles. So yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, we have again Jijiron um, uh, Borua. Uh, wanted to ask something about nanobiotechnology. If he's there, he can ask uh, directly. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, actually. So, uh, is it okay, Moisey, or Homer, to do karado? Oh, no, no, no. For me, I don't put out for me. I don't, you know, there's no pressure. I forget the law. I forget the law. I forget the law. I forget the Actually, my opinion is that the opinion of the Kitab Khan Pahar Bishop, I was really inspired. As usual, so be inspired. So, I was inspired. But, I was inspired. 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 I was Sir, so more actually, kaam hoy nanoparticles basically quantum dots so over. So more uh, functionalized koi molecule kini as a biocompatible one. So sir, ano ka really a possible hoy na sir? I mean, hito mane bioimaging ba biolabeling ko karna quantum dots ba dene ko ano na ba ajigil carbon dots wahi le? Hito really applicable koi upar. Um, so mane science of ki hoy? Eta um, so eta heyo eta dospay boski eta kothasil. So unless you try, you know, unless so he used um I don't want to use the word, but um he said you know, unless you like really um, you know try hundred times, you know you're not going. To, it's not going to lead to a truth. So to to have a truth, you have to like pay, you know you have to feel like ninety nine times. Otherwise, you won't get to the truth. The exactly same thing happens in science. Um, science of I mean, there's a you know use competition and industry for public use and if you look at publication everything happens right you know look at paper there will be like 10000 papers using quantum dots for doing everything and <laughs> so literally everything um but also this is also true that unless you try that 10000 10, times uh, you're not going to um you won't be like successful in terms of real application and um and a great example is that um you know i worked in nanotechnology um, i worked in you know um, biological interface and all. And, but I have been extremely uh, skeptical for many of the things uh, for years and years. And there is a reason why you know, need to be skeptical at some point, because everybody claims that everything happens, and which is not true, right? And very rarely actually things really happen. Um, but despite being that, um, you know, despite being skeptical, and there are good things come out one day. And I can give you one example how, you know, like, um, it, 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 Covid, I mean, uh, I mean, it's a Moderna vaccine, but um, Pfizer is a vaccine. The discovery that is totally bio nanotechnology, right? Uh, you have a mRNA, and they use like you know lipid nanoparticles. And lipid nanoparticles, those are not metal particles. Those are like you know synthetic um, polymer particles because they are lipid nanoparticles. Which are kind of you know to me, uh, I have a better uh, you know appreciation towards um, like you know organic stuff than inorganic stuff when it comes to body. You know, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of like. Um, you know, inorganic stuff in body because it just it can create some because you know inorganic stuff was unless it is bone or something like that it was never part of our body. So I'm not I'm not a big use like you know kind of for inorganic particles when it comes to body, but um, but again as I said you know we have seen this we have seen at, at the very inorganic molecule that quantum dot nano particle semiconductor then is possible. Hear you properly. I cannot. But anyway, so um, yeah, I can hear properly. But anyway, so um, so my second question, you know, there, um, uh, you know, like finger crossed, and let's see, um, you know, there will be like some technological thing that will come out, and which will prove that you know it worked. And as I said, in science, it, it, it just you have to wait and keep doing, keep trying, you know. As I said, unless you publish ten thousand paper in a field, it's not, you're not going to have anything <laughs> applicable. So okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. 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 Ah, yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
So, uh, sir, uh, Dr. Afifa Kosar, uh, uh, she asked that uh, uh, she wanted to uh, she wanted to have some advice. And uh, if you were, I mean, in apni jodi parat, akuman advice diye jodi for those students who are aspiring to do PhD from a good university abroad. Um. Sir? So, um, uh, honi sabar. Hi, hi. Um, so, if you katha moi um agote um ago ago kila meeting ato moi ekni pati silo. It's very um. Uh, um, you know, like it requires a long explanation because one leads to another, one leads to another. But the ultimate, um, ultimate part uh, um, so more, more personal experience of what have come on. Uh, you know, like one of the you know, the student bloggers that email for it, as you can do, I email for it. But you know, email of my prior attack of him of our whole book was only more pound. They say, I want to like, uh, I want to get you know, I want to study at like Ivy League school, I want to. Do a PhD from MIT. I want to do like, um, you know, from UC Berkeley. Um, so, bohut tenu ba email ahi thake. Ama bohut mat kitaba aman homotic le explain kuri jo. Bohut lo asli ekam hoy kitaba when I say that, um, you know, like, um, mane um, mane kotha pe nikar hona. Um, so yeah, I mean, we all want to go there, but um, you know, what we don't know is that like, what is the path to go there, right? I mean, like how how hard it is to go there and. And then there is another problem is that uh, the moment um, you know, like students realize that it's extremely difficult and they give up right away, um, and that happens. Like you know, both kids are lying. You know, how I could I guess I'm more about it because you go. But um, you know, frankly speaking, a lot of the students, uh, you know, they 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 are not even qualified to get a PhD in India. Um, that is also true many times. Um, so so it's very extremely complicated, and you know, I can tell the plot, but I can tell like. What it takes to go to like top institutes, and you know how everything is done, how things are institutionalized, how you know like different things like um, you know like hierarchy and privilege and all these things plays role. How your you know intelligence and it is, it's it's a huge mess topic basically. There's not there's no single one answer like you can go there and like you know have. Um, so one thing, at that time when try comes up okay, um, then you have to go step by step. Um, and you have to be prepared for that. Um, you, you know, like the music day, um, Galgazi um, Kobad Bula Poisa, um, you know, Zuhado Kumba Kolas, Ba Noga Kumba Kolas, Ba Lokum Pro Kolas. Um, it is extremely hard right away to go to one of the topics from there because, um, to me, suppose to me, you see, suppose Harvard is about nobody is going to like believe you that you know you are a smart kid because, um, you know, the, the, you know, Harvard, you know, there are different people. And um, you know, like you need to, you need to, basically you need to develop certain skill set, certain credits to your own, um, you know, CV or your your bio data, and so that uh, people at top actually take you seriously. And and so Amar Amar Northeastern is not any college by university, but in one shot it is impossible, right? It is almost impossible. You need to have a like long, long, long um, experience. Uh, a, you know, you have to build up yourself before they actually like you know consider you as something. Right? So, um, so for example, if you want to be um, really hard order to be PhD by MIT Kuruguda, one thing I know that um, you know you need to have at least three good first order paper, and in research and from like really reputed journal, right? And um, to get the and in your master's level, if you want to do PhD, and in master's level, if you have to get like three good first order paper from India. Um, you have to be from one of the top institutes, right? I mean, it's almost, you know, almost like 99.9999% unlikely that you will get a, get three good first sort of paper from, let's say, um, Saeed or Collins or something. It's extremely unlikely, right? It's like almost like a nil, chances nil. Right? And so you have to get a master's from one of the top institutes in India, right? And again, you have to be lucky there as well and hard work in there, in ISC or, you know, in Tata Institute of Fund. And um, to get that, and to get to there, to get to like ISC or TIFR as a master student, um, you have to be from really good college, right? Uh, you have to be from like St. Stephen's or from IIT or somewhere. Like that. So there is this this kind of build up and um, step by step build up. So it is extremely difficult. So that's why I said it is extremely difficult to go to top institute right away. Um, 
but there is a way. Yes, it is difficult. It is almost like, you know, there's no chance, but there's a way. And the way I keep telling people, the, the, for example, the way I came, right? <laughs> Again, I did not study in like for my best life. BSc model sensitive and partners, you know, I I was in Tinsiga because um so so uh, there's a way and and that way is to um go step by step and in every step you have to prepare yourself you have to struggle you have to hard work you cannot have like you know, shortcuts for anything um so um so he, so he got harder there um it is possible yes it is possible it is possible to go to MIT Harvard but then um you have to build up and that building up can take up to like 10 15 years maybe um after your base you, know, you go for a master's um, you spend a couple of years doing research, you publish, and then, you know, publish in a good quality because you, you have to create yourself, um, you know, there needs to be like, like really like some kind of rigor, right? Um, and everybody has to go through that training. So, uh, so suppose I want to play in Indian cricket team uh, and my ball out only on. So that is like almost impossible, right? How can I, how can I be get selected in the Indian cricket team when I did not even throw a ball, right? So there, there needs to be like, you know, like a really rigorous training before you actually get selected to the Indian cricket team. So, and same thing applies for, um, you know, um, you know, going to like big schools and good universities. So I, I think, you know, I don't know if I have, if I are able to, I, I, again, I don't want to like, um, um, so uh, as I said, there is a way. I don't want to discourage anybody, but also don't take it as a like. Uh, as I said, don't uh, don't think that you know somebody is like really prodigious and ekdom zon mote bolle, ekdom ki bahu ya hile, ekdom ani kitar se bol tu dolyan le koi Indian ki kati mupaye. Don't think that. Those are only you know those things happen only in, in fairy tales. So. Okay, thank you so much. So next question is from Dr. Nobonita Mehdi. Uh, she wants to know. Uh, do you have any dream about your own country? Which steps you would like to follow to develop scientific temperament among the people of your own place? Um, I mean, you know, I mean, India, um, so definitely, I mean, um, so be nizak haikono ekune na dalay, so be babi. But there, there are circumstances. Um, there are certain things you can do only in some places. Um, you know, it's it just. You know, because we live in systems, right? We don't live by ourselves, right? Um, we don't live like you know in an isolated some, you know, um, some place, some island or something. We live in systems, and and uh, it is extremely difficult to overcome systems. And uh, and sometimes systems go really wrong, and and you have to basically um, rather than you know sometimes um, you have to just um, go with the system and you know try your best what you can do. And for science. Uh, it more music in, uh, suppose music in skills, uh, music in kilo, music in value, more, more life to value, so, uh, more skill level of value. So. And I have to think about using my values in, in there, not like, you know, okay, I spent, you know, 10 years in this field and I quit tomorrow and I go join politics or something like that. So that's, that's, that's not good. Um, so, so he um, um, again, as I said, um, you know, I would very, I would be very happy to contribute in whatever way I can, in a good way, in a valuable way, not in just random crap. Um, but again, um, I, you know, I don't want to like spoil my ten years of like whatever skills I have, and I acquire. I want to be useful for for humanity. So, so he like what happened? Both, both interest like some point. Like what happened? What I How can I contribute? You know, in a good way without like. You know, don't like disrupting the system in the um, So yeah, I mean, I would be very happy to contribute in whatever way. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, next, we have another question from uh, Navanita Sutia. She has say, uh, said uh, that uh, she was depressed for some months, but after reading your book last year, uh, you became her role model. And uh, today she is very lucky to attend this webinar as uh, she, you are her inspiration. So she asked that, uh, what is the first thing to focus if we want to do PhD abroad and from where should we start? Yeah, sure. Um, thank you for reading my book first of all. Um, Aru, um, so PhD, I'm going to call it. Um, it depends on like what level you are. Um, so there are different, um, you know, there are different 
So when you climb the ladder, you know, there are different rounds, right? And it depends on where you are right now. And um, so, you know, you have to ask that question yourself and, and figure it out. Like, and as I said, you know, you have to go step by step. It's very difficult to, you know, unless you're like extremely talented and all, um, it's very difficult to go there. Um, you know, and also like you know, people talk about you know, like talents and all these things. Um, there are 7 billion people living on this planet. And, and those stories, like, you know, we hear one story from, you know, 7 billion people. That doesn't happen to anybody. And for the rest of us, we have to struggle. We have to do hard work. Um, so, um, again, to my dear, Zitu, I'm going to ask you 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 to me, your next step would be to, like, you know, really get a good master's right, from a good uh, good university, be it Assam or be it outside. Uh, so again, there again, next step, Ahibo, next step to me, um, you have to qualify for certain exams, um, you know, NAD, GATE, Zimanzi exams, and then you use that as a platform to move ahead and do some, you know, research in India. And then from there, I think then again, you have to prepare for GRE, doctor kind of exam. So, so there, are, there are different uh, levels. And the great thing is that we have systems to Go. I mean, imagine. Um, system like not we we had no way to you know, go right. But take that as an advantage. Like, take um all the systems um you know in place um as something to uh, build yourself. And uh, and I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you if you are like very serious about whatever you want to do, uh, it just goes step by step. And you know, don't don't like. I keep telling people, don't find an easy way. I mean, go through it. And, and go through the river, and and I'm pretty sure. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we have another question from uh, Kostov Koshik. Uh, he has asked several times. Uh, so he is asking, which diseases can be cured or are suitable targets for genome editing? <laughs> the the. You know, after after uh, in, uh, there, I mean, we did not even know enough about uh, genetic diseases. We we knew like the consequences, we knew the symptoms and all, but we did not have you know the human genome draft and then like you know really extensive sequencing. Right? Um, sequencing was very expensive, but very rapidly uh, we um, you know like we at least now know at least nine thousand you know, about nine thousand um, or eight thousand nine thousand genetic diseases. Uh, that's a huge number. And every genetic disease is different in it in its own sense. You know, like if you talk about like polygenic disease like cancer, it's the only one. And and there are monogenic diseases like all the Mendelian um, diseases like sickle cell anemia, and and then there are like you know different organs, different cell types, and all. There, there's just like there's a whole ocean in front of us for for genetic disease, both in terms of like you know what we can do for. Um, for cure and and you know how much opportunity we have to work on, right and um so there's just like you know the whole you can imagine like every cell in our body can be genetically edited in one sense but then again um, you have to ask the question like you know, how easy and you know logically see like you know if you want to edit germline then that's a different story if you want to edit like blood cells that's a different story if you want to like cure um let's say sickle cell anemia or beta-telacinia that's a totally different story, right? And if you want to cure um, neurological diseases, let's say uh, Parkinson's, elder, those are entirely different stories. So there is like, there's just like no, as I said, <laughs> about eight to 9,000 genetic diseases, and there's no like, you know, lack of, um, you know, the way you can do. Moon is your you know, recently I have been more focused on um, the hematopoietic stem cell related. So hematopoietic stem cells, um, he like I said, I'm a bone. I mean, um, I'm a I'm a defense system. I'm a body zero defense system. We call I'm a zero blood cells. Um, I'm a I'm a blood cells like it. So they fall by fall agree that you know, T cells, B cells, um, you know, macrophages, um, dendritic cell, red cells. So they all keep patrolling all of our body, right? And they are like the, the defense cells, and they protect us from any disease, including COVID or whatever. Um, so, and but they all arise from one single cell population, and that is called um, um, hematopoietic stem cell. Uh, hematopoietic stem cell is like bone marrow cells. Um, I will hear hematopoietic stem cell like take bone marrow return. I mean, is it osteo? I mean, osteo mozzarella. So, he mozzarella return take. 
So in, in their stem cell, because the same hematopoietic stem cell, uh, it leads to all these different lineages of cells, like myeloid lineage, lymphoid, erythroid, and all. Um, so our particular lineage, particular logo, there are genetic diseases um, associated with it. Skid will it get a honeybopper. Skid is like, you know, severe immunodeficiency. And there is cancer, right? All different forms of cancer, like lymphoma, uh, you know, whatnot, all the blood cancers. Um, so there, there is, uh, you know, you can use um, genome editing in every sense. Like in my research, for example, you know, I try to edit uh, genes in hematopoietic sense. I, I even like more research, more even, um, so we have to, you know, take out cells from patient, from skin, and convert that to like, um, induce fluid potent stem cell and then to hematopoietic stem cell and from there on, you know, uh, move it to like T cells so that you can fight back disease and find it. Um, it's just, it's just so much. And this is the reason why I asked everybody at the beginning, I mean, think about, um, you know, think, you know, these problems are going to be there because there are not enough scientists in the world. And we need a lot of people. We need like, we need so many people to do, uh, think about, uh, you know, solving all this problem. Um, yeah, just, there's, there's no limit. Thank you. Uh, so next question is from Hirok Jyoti Bharali. Uh, he wants to know, sir, is there any career option in the field of wildlife sciences in Harvard University? If yes, then what is the procedure to pursue PhD in wildlife from Harvard University? I am absolutely, I don't know. First of all, as I said, for, for PhD, I can say a little bit, and which I already said, you know, like how difficult it is to, you know, go to Harvard. Uh, if you're from a very unknown place. Uh, and then for wildlife, I have no idea. So yeah, I'm not the right person. <laughs> uh, okay, sir. So uh, next, uh, next we have, <clears throat> next we have, uh, so most of the questions are actually for the research and all, uh, like, they want to ask uh, how to go further in the research field as a career, which you have already addressed. And uh, so moving on, we have uh, one question from Jakia Akhtar. Uh, she has asked, sir, can you please tell us about some of your research activities? Um, I mean, like day to day, what I do. Um, I, I, as I said in the last in, in the last address, I said I work on, you know. In, in, in general, in the hematopoietic stem cell region, like in all the blood related genetic diseases. Um, and then, you know, my, um, one of my goal in long run, long run goal, like, you know, in my life, <laughs> what I want to do for my rest of my life is that um, I'm very interested to um, engineer all these um, blood related cells and then put them back into human body so that you can fight diseases. and. Uh, when I say five diseases, it could be cancer, it could be you know, autoimmune disease, and I it will feel a lot advanced. So, so okay. Anyway, let's go back to history again. So, um, if we um, um, if we look at human medicine, uh, my human medicine can get all this. ancient, my Indian style of us, like me, hard use which look at it, and then in the last two hundred years we moved on to not two hundred years, hundred years moved on to like you know, tablet pill-based, molecule-based, you know, organic molecule-based medicines, you know, all the pills that we develop. And then in the last 30, 40 years, um, we have this antibody-based, uh, you know, antibodies like big molecules. I mean, we have a small organic molecule, right? The so antibody is like big protein, right? So biomolecule-based medicine. Um, so here too, I have last, it has the vaccine, uh, you know, mRNA vaccine. So these are all um, big molecules like protein, RNA so based uh, medicines. Right? And now medicine is moving beyond that. Um, you know, again, it, it all, all to, you know, thanks to all the scientific revolution that happened in, in genetics, in every field of biology, in cell biology and all immunology. Um, so now medicine is moving ahead in a different direction. Uh, you know, we are extremely fortunate that we have at least 100 antibody based um, medicines today. And the whole, you know, the field will evolve. And like, you know, after 20 years, maybe we'll have 1,000 antibody based medicine. Antibodies like the big protein molecule, right? You know, like that. And now the field is moving ahead, cell based um, uh, therapy, right? And not, not just like, you know, molecules. 
how about we you know uh, evolutionary jodi ami sa ama body ki hisa ama body ama cells bilak ase ama different cells bilak ama ko lese t cells b cells um dendritic cells macrophages bilak ase so and they have been you know fighting this disease for for millions of years right in in all the particles and so um the question is like can we use that system can we then engineer cells um immune cells so that we can fight better right and so that field has emerged in last um, 10 20 years um uh, so he feel to i said yeah and you know scientists are you know obs- ob- they're like really obsessed about this including me i'm very obsessed about that um so um, carti cell bleed that recently to has a who brought at fda group which so carti cell do ki hoy mane जामा बॉडी पर टी सेल्स टी सेल्स लग मने देयर सेल्स कॉल साइटोटॉक्सिक टी सेल्स साइटोटॉक्सिक टी सेल्स बेसिकली दो सेल्स कैन यू नो पेट्रोल अराउंड इन योर बॉडी एंड इफ दे फाइंड एनी फॉरेन लाइक जर्म्स एनी एनिमी दे विल जस्ट स्टेप एंड किल राइट सो दैट्स व्हाट द साइटोटॉक्सिक टी सेल्स डू बट दे डोंट दे डोंट किल आवर कैंसर सेल्स एंड कैंसर सेल्स आर बैड राइट एंड वी वांट टू किल दैट बट टी सेल्स यूजुअली डोंट किल कैंसर सेल्स बिकॉज़ दे आर मैकेनिकल एंड the idea is so can we now then take these cells out from your body and then train them and engineer them and put it back to body so that they go identify the cancer cells and then it kill them and so that's that is a technology that came up um, and the first car t cell based therapy in america was um, approved in 2017 and after that it's like it just opened up whole field of you know using cells to cure diseases and so there there is still there are lots of lots of lots of problem and one other thing in my research in uh, you asked me about data reactivity one thing i'm trying to do is that like you know how can we actually um engineer t cells or cells from hematopoietic stem cell and you know and make them all the way to t cells and those cells can be used for anybody like you know if you are sitting in golf course today let's say you know i i make a cells and that cells can be used everywhere even in gopur even in like you know, new york in in you know in pakistan in colombo in 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 bangladesh well not and so my okay this is a very big 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 uh, ambition um yeah, in science it's many times you know, a single person cannot do anything it's, it's a whole community work and but in my work has been um, in in that direction and and my research activity every day would be like you know, just trying to engineer those cells and every day sort of you know, they make things better and better and you know find new things so that we can develop technologies yeah hola to dia no kuna a next question to moi khudibo bisarisu gayatri hazarikar gayatri hazarikar prothomote moi prothome apunar pitrimatrix shraddha aru hewa janaisu कारण अवदान अपना जीवन अपरिम सर विषय अलग जानव इच्छा आट आर दियर रियेक्शन वेन यू आर रिभिल डेट यू वान्टेड टू मुव एब्रड बिकज देखा जाए बहु समय अभिभावक संघय भोगे जीत ला छी विदेश क्या फ्रेंडर you know like uh, they are like neuropsychology like you know the psychology of like you know brain um, you know when um, so so anyway so then this mouse or um, the um the pups like when they go near as the opening when they get zonmo or zonmo operate like and they go through like some kind of anxiety and then there is like epigenetic uh, changes and things like that. So, so anyway, I, I'm trying to give a scientific explanation for all this anxiety. But yes, um, um, so yeah, it will become normal. But the the anxiety, so we manage it. So it's okay. The last day after the level, the anxiety feel. But you know that that's not only unique for us. As I said, it's for any animal. Um, and you know, it's a more more nizafe. And you know, I I behave in the same way. Uh, frankly speaking, I cannot like I cannot even imagine to stay away from my family. 
you know, I have a son and it's almost impossible to stay away from him. Right? So I, this is very natural. This is very natural that your parents would love to live with you or, or there is anxiety involved when you move away. So it's it's very extremely natural and you have to deal with that. Basically. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, we have the next question uh, from uh, our faculty, that is from the Department of Zoology of the University. Manas Das, sir, has asked how one scientist or faculty from India get, uh, can get a fund for research from NIH USA. And please tell something about this and also about the funding opportunity of research in USA. Yeah, so um, NIH-based funding, it is almost um, not possible for outside of United States unless um, there are a couple of things. Um, unless it is, a, it is a joint effort to fight certain disease, like let's say malaria in Africa. Or um, so I know recently, um, not recently, you know, 10 years from, you know, 10 years ago, uh, NIH funded um, a huge amount of like, I think more than $100 million um, in, a, in a genome sequencing project in Africa. Um, and that because that benefits everybody because we want to know the genome of everybody in the world, right? So that we diversify, we have new medicine. So sometimes um, United States is extremely generous for giving money to others. Sometimes not. Sometimes it's very difficult to convince them that you know you need to spend money everywhere. Uh, it, it all depends on their moods and who the people are, and there's so many different things. In general, it is almost impossible to get the NIH funding from other country, and unless, as I said, there is a um, not, not vested interest, but there is like some joint effort or something like that. So that is that is that. And did did your part two? Did your part two hold the um can you fellowship? So for Indian people, um there is a very popular fellowship called Fulbright Fellowship. Uh Fulbright Fellowship, I don't know the age restriction, but I know many people who come at the late 40s also, um, beginning from right after your PhD. Um, so, um, the full right to money, do we follow a high? So, US of our Zai, India, Leba, Belegula country, Chicken again, India, Brow, Ahe, um, US of it. Are most of the people who come at their late career stage? When I say late career stage, meaning that you already have a job, you are an assistant professor or associate professor in India. Um, you know, you're not like fresh PhD looking for postdoc. If you are fresh PhD looking for postdoc, you have to directly apply and, you know, apply to like 300 different labs or whatnot. Um, and then find out one policy. Right? And if the if the lab has funding, they will hire. And obviously, if you have the skill, the skill match is most important. And all your CV and publication. But if you are in um, you know settled career in India, uh, you are a faculty somewhere. Um, I think the best route would be to um, find some funding from India rather than here, because here nobody is going to invest on you. Um, so you have to find some funding from India. Like Fulbright is one example. A lot of, I know a lot of people who come on Fulbright for a year. Um, and so, yeah, so those kind of things. So, or your own money. <laughs> there are some crazy people who, you know, I, I met some crazy people who, who you know, we acquired, accumulated lots of money, and then they're so desperate to go to America. And then so they spend from their own pocket and they don't care. So, <laughs> yeah, so thank you. And then uh, next, uh, we have a question from Rakesh Chaudhary. He has asked that as your research area is genome technology, so uh, can you please say something about this technology? It means uh, for the greater interest of our students uh, about the scope or applications of that area. So there is not one, first of all, <laughs> in genetics or in genome research, there's not one single technology. Okay. I just want to make it clear. And there are lots of lots of technologies sequencing so, so in in the most broad and vague term i can divide the entire field into three kind of technologies and again that is like very broad like so what we call genome writing reading and editing okay reading or you can whatever you can come first so reading writing and editing right reading is how to read the genes right like our human cells have three billions base steps, right? Three billion, like, you know, how many books? I don't know, like, if you have to write a book with three billion later, I, I don't know, maybe like you know, 100 books or whatever number of books. Um, so, so you need to read that genome, right? And letter by letter, right? So that, that's a reading technology. So that is the sequencing technology I'm talking about. And there's 
स्किल्स रिवल्यूशन ऑन सिक्वेंसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी अम तो है जर एक्शन ऑफ जितने आप अमे प्रथम मने ह्यूमन जीनम फर्स्ट ह्यूमन जीनम प्रोजेक्ट तो कंप्लीट हो चले जितने ऐता ऐता सिंगल ह्यूमन जीनम रीड को भी पाने इट कॉस्ट अबाउट थ्री बिलियन डॉलर थ्री बिलियन डॉलर ओके टुडे आजीर जो मैं दो हजार एको पर आजी बीस वर्षों पर सर इट वुड कॉस्ट अबाउट हंड्रेड डॉलर So there's a huge revolution in technology. Like you know, like all these different generation of sequencer, like you know, Illumina and all. You know, like first Sanger style sequencing, then next generation, then like you know, all this nanopore and all this. There's a huge revolution, and there's like no ends of literature on that you know, what you can do. Um, so I I would suggest like anybody interested, just you know, read Hey Gute Hey Plan History Plus Technological Revolution. You can read that. So that is the reading part. Then the writing part, right? Writing part is still lacking. It's not moving very far. And the writing is the how can you make genes, right, in laboratory without actually isolating genes from somewhere, right? So it's like you know, make one by one, one letter at a time, and that comes to synthesis. And so genome synthesis, um, there there has been a lot of you know, a couple of years ago, I, I don't know, two thousand thirteen or fourteen, um. There is a big, big news that uh, somebody make a synthetic life, and um, it it actually came from Bender, Craig Bender, and Craig Bender is a, like a very uh, glamorous person. He has lots of glamour. He has own institute and all, and he has money. And so he, he basically he synthesized a like a very tiny um, bacterial genome and then replaced into another organism, and he claimed this totally synthetic. A lot of claim, a lot of hype and all. But one thing is that. That also tells the power of you know synthetic new genomes, right? So that that is that, and you know if you are really interested, I would suggest to read um, work by George Sars at Harvard. You know, George Sars is right across my my laboratory, and George Sars is one of the like you know, pioneer in uh, writing. Um, so yeah, so then and then the editing technology, right? Reading, writing, editing. Editing is to like you know when you have some mistakes in the genome. And you want to do all this crazy thing? You want to correct? You can replace the you know words. You can put the words and put it somewhere else, or you can insert new words. Right? When I say words, meaning that nucleotides. Right? When it comes to genes, it, these are all A T G C nucleotides. Right? And so edit, I myself work in the editing um, field, and 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 in editing again, you know, you'll find at least ten thousand papers. Like if you look at the CRISPR-based editing, which came first in like let's say two thousand twelve. Um, you will find at least ten thousand people cited that paper, meaning that more than ten thousand paper has been generated. So again, editing has huge potential, and um, it just um, it just there is no like uh, lack of um, knowledge. And and so, if like students are interested, my Telugu, if like Okman, Nizi, Okman, Google, 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 at least primary knowledge, like. And so these are core genetic technology, and associated with that, and there are like you know, so many other like you know like uh, recombinant technologies, and and then imaging, and you know all this you know, huge mess. <laughs> Scientific research is a huge mess. Just so much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Uh, Jyotishmita, ma'am, can you continue, please? Okay, Sankranti. Uh, next question is asked by Sultana Hazurika, ma'am. So, is there any scope of space science PhD in Harvard University? I am totally. I I, I don't have any words for it. I I I know very little about space, and except you know, if somebody goes to space, like a couple of days ago, Jeff Bezos went, so I went that video. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know anything. I I would um I would request you to like uh, look at the you know if you Google like you know Harvard University Space Science and all, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find lots of resources. And that is for the space science at Harvard. But in general, for PhD, I think I already explained how. Um, how how it is like, and that is applied for every field, not just like you know biology or biotechnology, genetics or space. And there is a route um, you have to go through, and you have to qualify. It's like very rigorous route. It just uh, you know I this the Indian cricket team of so it applies the same same style, <laughs> and you have to go through that route. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so next question uh, is from Megha Sahu. First of all, heartiest congratulations for your achievement, uh, Rubul sir. I think it needs a lot of balance between the study part and our family responsibilities. 
could you please share how did you manage both what kept you moving towards your goal sir yeah, family is full with Haki and more uh, other common explain to which is a you know the anxiety involved with families. These are all psychological and evolutionary, so we, we cannot escape, right? We have responsibilities towards our family, right? And when you say family, there's like there's different layers of family definition, right? And your immediate layer, it's just like I mean, I mean, atom, I mean, I mean, I mean, I proton thake, neutron thake, and then the different layers of electrons right i mean i'm a family to person and you got all at the core you have you know your wife or your husband or your boyfriend girlfriend who knows and your you know sons and daughters and that's at the core and then there are different layers right your parents and and then your siblings and your immediate family so there are a lot of lot of layers for your family responsibility and in every layer i mean don't get me wrong but every layer there's some kind of anxiety there's some kind of responsibility, right? Um, and um, di there are different forces, <laughs> but but yeah, they're, 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 you know, and it's hard sometimes, and especially um, it, I mean, the America, my so I mean, thaku yet, the Amaru, then we have my extended family at my, so I'm a Laura say, so both both cost a lot, both I mean, I mean, the Laura can get class only carry the one, we are equal, you know, we have to take care of them. Um, so um, both of them, but then again, you have to like sort of, you know, balance, and you, you need you need understanding. You need to have to compromise, and you know, that is I think that is the most important thing. You need to understand about your family issues. You, you need to think everybody as like valuable to your family, not just one person. And and you have to talk about all these things. And we talk in our in, in our dinner table. We talk every day about our family, about you know things that we should be doing for our family. Um, so, so he would have hake, but you know, then when I go to work, and then you know, I'm totally in this. <laughs> I forget about what is happening. But, so. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, next question is from Anjar Hussein. If a country like India invests a sufficient amount in genome technology, will it also benefit the country economically in the long run? If yes, then how? So um, I I may be biased I may be wrong totally but one thing I have very adamant view about economy is that in modern days in current days science is the way to go because innovation comes from science most I mean in most of the time and all the other things all economy and everything it it is around you know scientific innovation and and you know I'm again as I said I may be wrong but like you know if I look at history if I look at how you know all the um, developed countries like um, United States or um, UK, uh, Germany and Japan and you know now China, they all rose to prominence because of innovation, because of technological innovation. And science has here so and science is uh, like you know the the core foundation of technology, right? And and <laughs> I would be very surprised if there's a country who progress to that top level without doing good in science and innovation. I, I think that is going to be almost impossible. And and genome science at the at the base of healthcare about existence, right? So the, you know, health is existence, right? We are talking about our own existence, and and genetics and all the science at at the foundation. They are the foundation for a bigger innovation and bigger science. And you know, we, as a human, we, we care about our existence, right? And and that's why we are here. And our problems are related to the existential problem, right? We are thinking about how can we be better, how our offspring can be better. You know how we have a you know something which we can fight against COVID kind of things, right? So so economy is built at the periphery of all those things. And if India has to progress, or if any country for that matter has to progress, the first thing must be innovation. And for innovation, there must be um, some kind of investment. And there's a huge restructuring of our social narrative, our you know, how we do science. And there's no escape from that. And yes. Um, you know, yes, we have to. Um, we have to do science to, uh, you know, to be a better country. There's no, there's no alternative for that. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. My dear, more follow by the question was that my Zanibo Bisaisu, my Agote Budisu, it is my satra satri actually how many who did that Zanibo Bisaisu. Apni Guwahati Bishwa Vidyalaya para master degree kori sa chemistry my zonat. Apni JRF pa thala biochemistry line to choose kori le. Apni further study kori le. আৰু আপোনাক এখন খুব ধুনিয়া গ্ৰন্থ উপহাৰ দিলে এখন হৈছে মোৰ এতি হকুন আছে যি যিখনে অলৰেডি Amazon বেছলাৰ হৈছে মই মেনচন কৰিছো আৰু বহুতৰ কাৰণে অনুপ্ৰেৰণাৰ উৎস 
মো কেবা পড়িছো এনে এখন ধুনিয়া গ্রন্থ আপনি লিখিব কারণে প্রেরণা কেনে কে পালে so likhar kotha to moy eto agotu koisu bo thai je you know i keep telling people that i'm not just um, i'm not just like a science person i'm also a storyteller and i think a lot of people don't know about that because because, because i'm quiet you don't get to listen but in my core um, i'm extremely fascinated by storytelling in uh, when i say storytelling is basically you know tell story to make change right to to have something you know, you know we have storytelling everywhere right in our dinner table we have storytelling right? i try to tell something to my wife so that she changes her mind or something like that so we do storytelling and storytelling has a huge role in our society and my uh, moon is okay you know, i've been a storyteller again you know i but who does anybody for example i got a golf ball like this so golf ball kitab akhon ase jeneke tar sono mu eta hapun ase likhilo So I tell my, you know, I, you know, now I'm very actively I actually do writing, um, and then more um, that happens is when English is written. So, so I'm, you know, my like other side of life is if not if I'm not involved in science and my family, then I do um, you know, story writing or kind of stuff. Um, so more that happens is when Lika writes a kind of stuff. Um, there. So when I was writing short stories, the time I got out from what was happening from the present, I asked myself, why am I writing stories? You know what kind of stories I want to tell to people, so that there is some kind of impact, right? Um, so one thing it stood out, and I got her eyes and say, you know, I have gone through so much of you know trouble, so much of like struggle in life, right? So I thought maybe if I tell that, uh, it might actually impact, it might actually you know like it might be beneficial for people, right? And um, so he got her to more a cup of his, you know, Aru um, there's a whole lot of them, you know, like there's a whole lot of them, and they're not nice, they're not nice, they're not nice, they're not nice. राइटिंग <laughs> and it was like so spontaneous and so in the meantime i had like lot of presentation i think i gave like three presentation at harvard and so i was also visiting around um, but i i finished that in about three month, two months actually about three months and but real writing time is no more than like you know, 20 days it was like very powerful uh, coming inside from me and so it man who they they kira kira mane kele mane kene ke likhile mane how was it possible So um, you know, there is no single explanation again. Um, so my question is, I I have been a storyteller, and you know, and people don't see that. People don't see the background like homework, right? And I have been doing homework for writing, right? For for almost seven eight years before I wrote memoir on the card. Um, so hey, seven eight years so zero mane zero homework zero course. I think that might have been one of the main um reasons why it was like very accessible for people. right and because you know i was doing that exercise at home by writing other stories and then came up that okay i need to write these stories now and then you know it was all part of basically you know like storytelling and storytelling and and that episode of hikon murata hapun ase hikon dekhilo then you know people are reading and you know i'm done there and but you know i i haven't given up on writing i haven't given up on storytelling and so that episode moy koi hai hol the hikon and the kapsa we were at langor is a town moy yat thaku so i have to also write uh, for other audience and a lot of the problems we talk about a lot of the problems that i you know talk today these are universal problems these are not just like homey man or problem and then these are all like you know global problems and poverty and you know struggles and and you know um um black privilege non privilege igote kotha blak asol these these are this is a problem about 7 billion people not just you know 30 million people. um so he got a more the down motivation is that okay now i need to um, come out and and write in english as well. and so then um and then when i say write in english i'm not talking about writing is you know write a scientific article i'm talking about writing literature and so when it comes to writing literature it's a totally different kind of language it you know the language takes the burden of a story right i mean the whole burden of your narrative it goes to the language and so the first thing first first thing you have to care about the language right how you are using language as a medium to convey your what you are thinking so i had to do a lot of homework for that 
So for the last four years, you know, I I wiped those you know, way better than me, how much struggle I had done for, for writing in English. And, you know, every day actually at home, I read, you know, even like, you know, today morning, I was reading uh, one of our Pamukka's book. And so I, I read in, um, I read almost every day. I read literature. You know, I, I, in the last four years, I have read like almost, you know, all the major, um, you know, international literature. And and so for, for writing and story, um, again, as I said, it doesn't come in single day. It doesn't like, it doesn't happen like, oh my God, that guy's so genius. He just wrote and his book is famous. It's not like that. Um, it, it is always there is a, you know, backdrop uh, hard work. It's always there is a um, exercise, you know, it's like homework, which people don't see. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, so yeah, the audience of Dumaluga writing, Kiman, uh, but like those who want to be, uh, you know, be a storyteller, uh, and story can be anything, you know. Story can be even the history of genetics, for example, right? I mean, um, Sitar Mukherjee, who wrote the book Gene, which has been like, you know, in, in my heart basically, and that book is not like you know, fictional novel or some story. He wrote about the history of genetics, the right? history of genes basically, and that is such a powerful storytelling. And you know, that book has been like, you know bestseller and time magazine like what not list and all but it, it, these are all storytelling and for storytelling you need a narrative you you need to know things you know you need to have knowledge right and that the intellectual capacity and 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 top of it use a language and, you know eventually the language will take the whole burden to you know reveal to people right so there are a lot of these kind of things and uh, um i cannot stop what i right so i think uh, so writing a kotha aile, so he to kotha. I'm I'm a storyteller, so, so yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we have another question from Jitu Muni Das. He has asked uh, that uh, uh, in a previous session of yours, uh, you have shared that three main books motivated you a lot. So can you please tell us the name of those three books? <laughs> <laughs> last last do them meeting or education common the thing on money and get up so my my committee on because more things on get up on generally it has a literature uh, when I created writing and um, second was economics I, I like economics a lot because it has to do with society right and economics plays a big role in you know like how translating science into society and all this thing. and and in general you know I come from a background and and that has to do with economics, right? Like economics of poverty and economics of society um, and all this. And so more the economics for how to a constant evolution more than For example, at Amat Cook Money more poverty related economics for um then again Zephyr Sex, the um opposite energy by the um then I got into like you know, rush safety style economics. Then recently I was studying um, immigration economics. So, um, you know, I study economics a lot. And then the third kind of thing I read is, um, is science, obviously, because you know, I do science. Uh, science, uh, most of my knowledge actually comes from magazines, science magazines, like Science Nature, like Scientific American, that kind of thing. But, uh, so, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm literature to talk about it. Literature is one of the best. And every book is a different style, right? Some books are accessible for audience. Some books are like masterpiece, but nobody can actually understand. You know, if you if you read like, um, for example, uh, um, Novakov, right? Vladimir Novakov. It's so difficult to access, right? Um, so Tony Morrison, you know, that one, it's so hard to access. So, but uh, even then, the um, open literature kitab called So I have been telling this to people that um, so ekhon kitab hodai it will stand out in my core is Chinua um, Asibe and things fall apart. Things fall apart. But I do want to move on. Because from that book, I learned how to tell story of like you know provincial people, like people that rest of the world do not care. Um, so who help for say here? Kitab. Like, like, I mean, say underprivileged. Who? 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 Virginia Woolfer, um, a room for um, a room for one's own. He can a feminism of a hobbyista essay, but that book has been like, tremendously influential for me. 
for for the the way she presents it. You know, Isu who just not dealt before, and she is she you know she like presented in such a persuasive way. Um, then um, so third um, Milan Kundra Zikun kitabi mukpio. Milan Kundra ekhon dikhe zog bol ekhon kitab. I don't know why that book I read like more than eight times. And um, that book has been part of me. And I think a lot of my writing I learned is from Milan Kundera because you know how he presents like lyrical text, lyrical metaphors and things like that. So yeah, again, the eighty one more kitabos. There's so many, so many books. It's just uncountable. It's the, the the worst thing is that there's so many good books and you do not have enough time to read. That's the problem. <laughs> Sure, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Again, uh, we have a question from Freeman Boro. Uh, he asked, actually, he is concerned about the tremendous application of gene manipulation techniques which is used to create GMOs. Either it may be plants, animals, or microbes. So, what may be our future? Like, with special concern to fatal viruses and superbug creation, are we ethically doing good playing with nature? So, manikia zikun eta technology. They are used to hoy manuar amar society seven billion people so what happens? Seven billion software again mind the manu. There are some kind of people who always want to do harm to others, right? I mean, we find in our personal life as well, right? We have friends who always want to do our harm, right? So they are that kind of people, and um, so same thing goes for any technology, right? There are people who want to do harm, and so and when you have you know technology, you can use either in bad way or good way, like anything, like you know. Atom technology, right? All the things related to like quantum physics and all this, like atom bombs, and but also there is electricity and there's like good things, right? There's a lot of solar power. And same thing happens for you know all these viruses and genetic engineering. I mean, you could you could you know like if you want to use in a bad way, there like there's no doubt of like bad thinking, right? You can just you have to think about something really bad, right? You can totally do that. And um, the good thing is that we live in society. And there are like norms, there are ethical, you know, there are ethics, uh, there are ways to control, and which is, you know, human as a species are doing extremely good in that sense because we have norms, we have, you know, control. And so, but also, uh, what is the GMO? What um, is what will happen with all these GMOs and, you know, CRISPR um, edited GMOs and things like that? So, um, I mean, if you look at the food, that we eat, right? I mean, uh, uh, these are all like some kind of hybrid, right? Some kind of GMO, right? I mean, we did not know the technological details before, but you know, like the sweetest apple today was not in nature, right? It was like after hybridization, after hybridization, after hybridization. There's so many, you know, combination of genes, right? I mean, it, ultimately it goes to genes. And, um, so there is that, and you know the whole, whole food, like you know the agricultural agriculture revolution that happened. Like, you know, I mean, we all know that um, diosinte became you know modern day corn, right? And for tomatoes, there's like you know tiny, tiny little tomatoes, and, right? And all these apples and and all different um, you know food that we eat today, they all come from some kind of hybridization that humans have done over like you know like it's all it's it's been more than ten thousand years. We are still doing hybridization. Those are actually all GMOs. The only difference is that in modern days, in like you know, in last thirty years, we talk about genetic technologies and we scare people because we talk about like molecular details and people get scared. Oh my god! And um, so I think it's um, I mean, you need to have regulation. I mean, um, you know, what if like we do some genetic engineering and then there's some new kind of um, antigens that appear. Uh, and then that actually, you know, like kind of it fights with our, our immune system, right? Allergic, I mean, is it allergic? So th those those questions are there. But I think in long run, we need to see, we need to like every time, um, we, we have to carefully evaluate what is good and what is bad, right? It can be poison as well, right? We have to evaluate that. And I think as long as we carefully evaluate that, in long run, I think, um, you know, science cannot like long, all this product of science is not a like you know overnight sensation, right? And science leads to things that that stays for a long time, or it's a long run solution rather than overnight sensation, right? And I think for everything, even for genome engineering, genetic engineering. So um, I mean, recently at a international media, China, CRISPR editing, 
and that became huge sensation, right? And people started learning, like, you know, why is it allowed? Why people do like, you know, genome editing in, you know, in germline and all these things. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it cannot be overnight sensation. I mean, it, it, this is inevitable. This tech, my either technology, I say, and humans can do this. We will alter species and we have a technology to alter species, right? And, and this technology is not going to go away from humans because humans are not like saying bye-bye from this art, you know, in the next hundred years, humans are going to live here. So we'll have these technologies and, and humans will use this technology to do some of these things. But the question is like when and how cautious we should be, right? That's the ultimate question. And if we do in a very hurried way to get overnight sensation, it's, it's harmful, it's literally harmful. But again, you know, we have 7 billion people and, you know, we have to test out, we have to check. I mean, sequentially, I mean, like somebody, which is beneficial and which is not. Right? And and I think, um, I mean, history got I mean, and you know nothing about what happened during the agricultural revolution in, um, in like, in 14,000, you know, 10,000 years ago. And it might have been, so my, my guess, and those stories are, again, I'm a storyteller, so I'm very interested in those stories. And there might have been a lot of people died after eating some kind of, right? I mean, there might have been those kind of ethical questions in those days as well, right? It's not just like today, Nana and Lulu are born and people are going crazy, why are we to do that? But I think that was there, that was there with like humanity, like even fire, is that bottom fire? People might have put fire somebody's house and or if not house, somebody like, you know, they might have burned somebody. Right? And there have been like, there might have been those ethical questions then. As well. So I think, um, I think um, as a human, uh, we just, we need to like carefully think about all this. And I think it's okay. And the GMOs are okay. And it's just a question of, you know, uh, finding out what is beneficial and what is not. I think eventually that is the question we should be asking. Anyway, I, I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm giving round about answers. So. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Uh, next, uh, we have a question from uh, Lily Bordelay, ma'am, who is the uh, HOD of uh, Zoology Department of Fedora College. Tell who he said, Prathamate Aponala of Hinondon Zonaiso, Koilakpura, Koraponabra, Ulaigoi, Ajir, Obostat, Obostan Korise. Itrimatri Kandhor Bujar Bhag Korhiai, Nizor Lekot Uponita Hobole, Ki Hokti Apunak Onopredindo Korle. Um I think it's not it's not like one and one you know it's it happened in the moment or it, it was like overnight something happened. I think it's just um you know <laughs> in human life we get like at least 70 years to live. Hopefully we live that that far, but at least 70 years. And we can figure out all these things. And, you know, it just go with the flow. It's just, but one thing we have to be very careful that we should not fall, fall off from the track. We should constantly keep thinking about our progress and our, you know, our destiny, our, you know, whatever that may be. Uh, we just, we have to constantly keep thinking about that just so that we don't fall off track. And once we are on track, you know, if you, if you get a train in, um, in Guwahati, I'm pretty sure you can get to Bombay, you know, Mumbai without falling off track as long as you are on that train. And there's plenty of time to, you know, go from Guwahati to Mumbai. And the same thing happens in life. Right? I mean, um, yes, there are burdens, there are struggles and all. But I think those are kind of it's easily manageable. Um, I mean, it's better if we have good opportunity. Um, for example, if I had, um, let's say, if I had like really good, parents and, you know, like very highly educated and, you know, like living in New York, maybe I would have come to Harvard at the age of 20, but it did not happen. And again, it's fine. I mean, it did not, and I came in 30s, right? So, uh, I mean, it's ultimately, I think it's just as long as we are on track and uh, we think about, you know, we think about greater things. We think about not just like, what did I eat today or things like that. Uh, I think if we think about, uh, you know, greater goals, I think, uh, it's it's not that difficult, I think. Yeah. So I don't know. It seems like it's a lot difficult for many people. But I think the reason why it is difficult for many people is that um, ultimately it's a motivation that will lead anybody everywhere. You know, if I want to go to Everest, I may take ten years, but I'll get there. That's my thing. That is my reason. If I want to go, and if I'm very serious about, it, and if I know that you know, like all the people who dissuade me, there will be all so many you know like bad things. People will say bad things. I will have bad dreams. 
in a song or whatnot. They're like, you know, the whole environment around us try to kind of you know, bring it down, right? As long as we know how to deal with that, as long as we know that that is perfectly okay part of our life. And I think if you if we have that motivation and going to the right track, obviously you cannot fall off the track. And I think it's possible to do anything. I mean, again, obviously you cannot do certain things. Like for example, if you want to be a like novel laureate, I, I don't think you can just say, Oh, I want to be novel laureate and I'll be I don't think that that's gonna happen because it also depends on so many things, right? So many like but in general, like for for small goals like you know, my goals, <laughs> I think it's possible. Quite possible. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have another question from Professor Jugen Chandra Kalita, sir, that uh, he asked, how would you read a college graduate from a university in Assam and a college graduate in U.S.? Um, so there are differences. Um, I was a mentor. Uh, I mentored a lot of students. And so I think I saw a um, huge difference. Um, so I don't know how much I know it does not cut on colors, obviously. Um, so um, so the more power how much is it um more areas um infrastructure, background and platform. Uh it will look more yard city of Tulonago, yet suppose more invested in Massachusetts. Yeah, there is students like a university point, yeah, they don't call as bully now. The students Go to university to study undergraduate. Um, so my my easy go down the more asil more kebato uh, hey asil menti asil. And then um, so some of the thing I notice is that uh, yeah they at least you know they are privileged in in different ways. And ultimately it's not about merit and talent. You know every human you know we are same genetic material right. I mean we all we have the same chemicals in our brain and all. We are same in that sense. It's just about training. It's just about getting the right experience. So the ego has not arrived at the I'm a social problem, but there's a like long history of that. You know, there's a like this training, right? I mean, some people get the training, some people do not, right? And people who do not get the training, they behave in a bad way. And the rest of the people, they'll just keep shouting it. Why they are doing that? Right? Like, you know, those guys are so bad. The root of the problem is that they did not get the training. That's the problem. And the same thing happens for uh, the U.S. I mean, I mean, I why U.S. Nobel Prize five and science are So again, I mean, there is no difference between people. You know, the same human species. The problem is that there is a difference in skills and training, right? And we do not have the same training that the people get here. And here, people are privileged in the sense that they have a system set up, right? And if I if I were born in Boston. I go to a good college, and next day I go to for my college if I'm good, and if I'm if I care about my career, I go to Harvard, right? For for my undergraduate. If I'm from like Koila School <laughs> or Tinisukia, for me the only option is to go to Tinsia College or some colleges around there, right? So so there is this this difference, right? And then based on what environment you live, there are different infrastructures and things like that, right? And so yeah, they, for example, music day student as a um, college student. So, and I was working on gene editing and they worked with me. And so they were working on gene editing basically when they were callers. When I was in college, I was like mixing organic chemicals, right? I was doing titration, I was doing like colorimetric titration and all that. So now you can see like the difference, right? I mean, what is the difference between, you know, in Assam versus a difference here, right? And a lot of people like, you know, I know some of the people that I follow in science, for example, Fang Zhang, he's the, like, one of my inspiration. And Fang Zhang was one of the like, you know, Pioneer in CRISPR technology. So I, I listened to Fang one time, and you know, when he was high school, he already started manipulating like viruses. He was like trying to modify viruses for you know some delivery, and he was doing all this you know cloning and recombinant uh, technology. And when I was in in high school, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I had absolutely other than just you know reading. By the way, in high school, I studied science by myself because I did not even have a teacher. So. Um, so that's that's the difference, right? I mean, the difference is like, like in what exposure you are getting, what kind of training you are getting, right? And so my students, coming back to my students, the my students that I train them, and two of the students are so good, they, you know, when they came, they're like, oh my god, they know nothing about science. They had no idea what they wanted to do. No, you know, they just wanted to get good jobs. 
but like you know, I, I, I'm I'm a good at least I you know I believe that you know, I can motivate people, and and so I, I you know, I'm good at like talking to people in person. So so I talk to them all the time, and then I motivated them. And you know, after two years working with me, and both of them they got like PhD at Harvard. Basically. So now now you can see it, like you know what is the difference, right? The difference is not so much about the innate ability of what we can do. The difference is the, the training that you know we get in a different way. Right? And so I think that um, that is again, you know, there, there are societal problems. Uh, these are different things. Maybe I can write another book on that. But um, you know, there are a lot of lot of these kind of societal problems. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, next, we have a question from uh, next we have a question from Pubali Gogoi. She asks, "I would like to know about CRISPR technology and how it can help humans." Um, CRISPR is um. CRISPR is a like now big big thing. Um, CRISPR technology is basically you know there's a protein called Cas9 and there's an RNA molecule that can guide the Cas9 to any part of your genome, and that Cas9 protein is like a scissor. It cuts the gene, and then after that, whatever you want to do, if you want to modify genes, if you want to correct genes, it's it's just like an editor. You know, like how an editor. Um, you know, like when you send some manuscript to an editor and you like in kind of cut, paste, and do correction and whatever. So that's that's the potential of CRISPR technology, and and because you can do editing, uh, you could imagine uh, if you ask the question, what can I edit in a manuscript? I mean, you can do so many things. Right? You can do like, you know, correct, you can copy, paste, and resupple material, and same thing you'll do in terms of gene. Um, yeah, and CRISPR is a mature technology, and there's heels, and I would strongly suggest if you're interested, maybe you can just start reading from Google, and then obviously there are lots of papers. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. <coughs> uh, we have another question from Deepshika Kyo. Uh, she has asked that uh, when we talk about uh, uh, we, when we talk about advanced research, we always look towards abroad and Western countries. So uh, seeing things in all aspects, what do you think? Where is India lacking to be at the top? Um, I'm... You know, I don't. I don't say things just because I want to please. So I'm very like upfront with what I think about uh, something. And so in that sense, I know a lot of people would like to hear that India is doing very good in science. But you know, as I said, <laughs> I'm very upfront. I don't want to like. Um, so in my assessment, in my view, India is doing very bad in terms of science. Um, again, I, I cannot blame like the scientists or something like that. It's, it's a problem of the system, right? And you know, just saying good words, it words doesn't help. And we have to like fix those problems. And in terms of innovation, it's just like in every fund. I mean, if you if you uh, if you follow science and if you know what is going on in technology, then you will very easily will notice, you know, where India is failing. And in terms of if you look at innovation, it's like, you know, in terms of like Moran, look at every field, right? I mean, look at the field of transistors. Look at the field of communication. Uh, whatever in that. You know, contributed in terms of the fundamental innovation, almost none, right? If you look at the healthcare in modern healthcare, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the, you know, the old poor, poor, poor nice style uh, hidden eye problem. I'm talking about the modern medicine. Like, you know, what did India contribute? Almost kind of, you know, you don't see any like branded contribution, right? I mean, now India is producing like, you know, they're manufacturing things like vaccine and things like that. But when it comes to innovation, there is like huge, huge failure, right? And so you can look in every angle, except space. Uh, you know, space technology is not something innovation. Space technology is like you know people have been using the same technologies over and over. And if you have money, you can do anywhere. Like even if you, have, you can do you know in somewhere in Olmec or somewhere anywhere you want. Um, those are not like novel technology. I mean, there is novelty. But in terms of innovation and and finding new knowledge, I think India has definitely um, um, it failed. Uh, even compared to China, you know, China is like. You know, I follow science, so I know what is like happening in science. For example, in, in quantum computing, science is leading now. In structural biology, science is leading, you know, like, you know, they, they, all the key contributions coming from there. And in, in genetics, they're again leading, you know, in genome engineering, they're now, you know, like, you know, they're like one of the top. And in some fields, like quantum computing and, you know, structural biology, they're absolutely the top in the world. I mean, they're even like, you know, um, surplus America or some of the European countries. Um, so, so if we actually like, if we actually talk about the quality of work and actual contribution 
Um, I think India has failed in a big way. And why did it? Why did India fail? Again, it's um, it's like so many rooted problem. And uh, I mean, hey, um, I mean, um, LP school. I mean, Pujara position is a ugu ugu. Akhao kio go go kaze go no ke moinu point kio. So it's like how that any god no. So if we like you know keep finding the problems and you just keep going, keep going, keep going, and then you know you then you see like okay, like you know the problem is just not. You cannot just blame one party. There's like so much rooted problem. And and in terms of India and. This is very sad. I keep telling people like in India, we still do not consider scientists are the you know number one like top prominent people. We do not have merit for you know for scientists. I mean, how many scientists? I mean, Ahomar, Ahomar, I told you. I mean, Ahomar. I mean, Kizan began it. Absolutely not. You know, we have so many other people in our in our textbook, in our in our culture, in our merit. We have absolutely none for science. Right? So it's the same kind of thing happens in India. Like you know, we 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 rate the scientists uh, in in our social narrative in such low. That they are not part of our social narrative, except one or two. I mean, Abhijay Abdul Kalam he was extremely lucky. He got a good retirement plan. You know, he became the president and he became famous. But other than that, you know, we hardly know about any scientists in India, right? And so there is there is huge rooted problem for um, why in India, you know, ultimately we blame just one party. We said, oh, yeah, politician ke ramu koi le, so ekdom sab sofa. But you know, there is there is a rooted problem in our society, and and I think you know, I'm not going too much into all those problems. But all I want to say is that if I have to say it very truthfully, without pretending, without like trying to satisfy somebody, India is doing really bad. In that's all I can say. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying that because I'm standing at Harvard. I'm saying because that's what I believe. That is my you know, frank, frank assessment. Okay. Um, thank you so much, sir. Uh, we'll uh, pick up a few more questions, uh, if it's okay for you, sir. And I'm here. <laughs> Ask me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, um, Juganta Jyoti Das has asked that uh, he is working on to develop an online platform, a platform in where the teachers and students can learn and interact just uh, live, just like a normal class from uh, different teachers and universities in India. Basically, we put an offline class and put that the whole experience online. So, uh, can you share your thoughts and ideas towards it? Um, I, I mean, that's very good. I mean, if you are doing anything for the society, that's extremely appreciable. So, but um, you know, more kettled, um, more people, more, even more, even more, even more, bigger than that. So, um, I mean, brainstorm koi le kotha bola gula hai. Anyone who has a kotha nula bol, then some new york. Anyone who has brainstorm koi le bola bol, but I, I don't think I can say something right away. Um, but more uh, of best of all, our technical zigu manu associate with us, and they also love to learn the zigu part. Brainstorm, how can it be? You know, how can we make it better? Uh, I think that would be the best way. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, sir. Uh, so uh, another question we have. Uh, just uh, it's uh, it's a qu general question out of curiosity. Uh, Bhargav Jyoti Borwa has asked. That what's your favorite hobby? Uh, he means, how do you spend your relaxing time apart from your research work? I have no hobby. All the things I do, I think very seriously, and I don't think that is a hobby. And as I said, I I do research, I do science, and then I write, and that is not a hobby. That is very serious from my heart. <laughs> and and my family, you know, I cannot tell them you you know you are my hobby. <laughs> they will kill me. So that's that's not a hobby. That's my family. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, then uh, we have another question from Gayatri Hazarika. Uh, she has asked, Sir, in what ways can the method of teaching learning procedure in Indian colleges and universities be improved? Um, I think more than the experience in teaching, there are better teachers. But I think that's what I want to point out. The etabos to my man was on the whole Indian teaching. The Ami Indian teaching of highly competitive marks wise, then the cook practical money, I mean, problem solving, then the cook not have a busy. So I think, I think, I think we need to do more kind of practical thing. Like, you know, I'm a head of my, I'm high critic again. I don't pretend that I have to say something else. 
science teacher more eta mane amar native science ni edibon more eta problem hoy ase so we are like you know we like to live in dreamland most of the time we are all dreamy right and we, we like romantic feeling and all right so humans are very dreaming and you and sometimes we need to go, get to the um, the real problem so especially in science um you know we so i call this romantic science we talk about you know quantum physics and astrophysics and you know about einstein about about newton and when you keep doing that when you keep talking about atoms and all we, we absolutely would forget about some of the things we can do to change society for example what about making a good breed of rice that can fit people better right what about uh, you know a lot of those problems right i mean you know how, what about like you know creating new bits of animals that can you know like help the society we absolutely we do not talk about those things and that is what i def- i def- i define romantic science versus non romantic science so we we talk too much about romantic science we are like you know if i ask somebody like uh, you know do you want to be a scientist and if he says yes and what do you know about science the first thing they will say most likely about black right or about like einstein right? I, again i'm not saying that einstein is bad he, he was genius but it's not it's just limited to einstein or or black holes right so what you know like what i call romantic science it should not be only romantic science so also at some point we have to ask questions about society about like solving problems in society and many of the great uh, we don't recognize a lot you know many of the so recently signed um you know mon number um loop yes like looping is science mane science is an mane um um is an agricultural revolution of the kind of rice hybrid yes i think you know this about it but anyway um so take the 70s not on rice hybrid yes le are he rice hybrid like yes le that by now in 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 the world almost 30% people are fed um they're fed by his rice actually and that's a huge 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 contribution to the society and if you look at the science history again like you know what stands out you know agriculture and rivers are definitely stand out we don't talk a lot about it but that was one of the key moment in in human civilization right um so those those problems like you know thinking about agriculture thinking about solving problem in those things we do not talk much in our 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 course our books our college education we most often we just like okay the day when you go to college you study physics you only talk about einstein and quantum theory and because that also gives a little bit kind of like a romantic feeling when you talk about you know quantum theory it's like it feels like wow we you know, are i'm talking something very romantic right so um we don't so that, that i think the, so again as i said um, you know, I, i'm a little bit critical of that and I, i think we need to talk about real problems as well, not just think about black hole and by the way my um, my son who is um that the past was over here i lost him so he he na he ko bad video sala video sai he back ko kotha kare he said like back on sala not real they exist only in videos that's what he said they do not exist in the art or in the space but he said he acknowledged that black holes can like you know, it can like eat a free plan so yeah he thinks it is that of the so anyway <laughs> Uh, so thank you uh, next question is from deep sikha ke uh, when we talk for advanced research we always uh, look towards abroad and western countries seeing things all in aspect what do you think sir where is india lacking to be the top yeah so um, as i said india i mean at a at an to the prashna agat mo to uttar dilu the india has a lot of problem uh, we need to face that we need to you know you know like step by step we need to uh, approach and it the problem of indian science is not a scientific problem it's a social science problem that's what i tell people it's a problem of social science because you know we are failing in a big in a, in a society um, it's a problem of society um i will, um in terms of looking to abroad um when it comes to science i mean yes we still need to look to india like i mean the, the recent proof is that i'm um, corona virus vaccine right? all this vaccine technology all all this genetic sequence and because of that we have an access to the right and there is a history of all this and these are all fairly done by the western countries right and so we still have to look into western countries we cannot we cannot like uh, you know like i'm a homo kidiba kisan sentiment i take oh you know i mean i'm a homo i'm a ahume five kuisle kaane no loi ami eto kaane no five kuisle we cannot do that 
you know, <laughs> we do better. We'll be, we'll be defeated right away. Uh, we have to like, we have to basically um, adopt the technology that Western company has developed. Right? All this like fighting with tech that if you want to fight, right? We have to get to that level, and then from there on we can make improve, right? So in kind of situation, we have to look into all these genetic technologies. Technologies, if we are talking about biology, we have to look into all these quantum technologies. If we are talking about information technology in the future, and from there on we can make improve. But I think we uh, in India we are still struggling to get to that. So that is why we always have to look into abroad because you know it's still you know technology is uh, led by uh, Western country. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, I think I'll be taking one more question. Uh, so this is from Inu Saikia. Sir, apuni rakhan bigyan or sathro hoyo. Any kwa ki khetro ta kor khita holeze apuni jibo bigyan khetro kono kam kori bolle monosto kori le. It's it's a time and atmosphere and everything surrounding me. It's not just like you know it came from my mind like oh I want to do biology. It's not like that. It's a time. Um, it's what what is going on out you know around us. It's about narrative, right? Uh, we are humans, you know, like we don't, we are not born with certain innate abilities. We get trained by our society, and like whatever we make decisions, we do things. It's about our society, and there's so much narrative about biology and you know genetic technologies and gene engineering. And I happen to be in right atmospheres, in right places. And then for me, I mean, it is very natural to you know get excited about all these technologies. And yeah, I think it. I, I don't give any credit to myself. I would totally give credit for what happens in the uh, atmosphere, in the environment, basically. Um, okay, uh, so, so much, sir. Um, so there was a lot of questions for you along with, along with many appreciations also. Uh, so as we are running out of time, uh, I think, uh, uh, that will be the end of this uh, interactive session. It was really nice interacting with you, sir. It was really inspiring and motivating. So uh, uh, moving on to the next agenda, uh, I would now like to request uh, our respected and very dynamic per um, person who is always with us as our guiding light, uh, Professor Jugain Chandra Kalita, sir, who is the head of the Department of Zoology, Kohati University and General Secretary of Zoological Society of Assam to kindly say a few words. Over to you, sir. Okay, thank you, Dr. Songkranti, yeah, Songkranti Devi. We are very happy that uh, Rubul Maud could give us his very precious time. It's a very lively session. And as I can understand, our students, those who were waiting for this session for a long time, okay, I was Okay, from different corners of the society, even parents, teachers, teachers, and they were always asking me whether he will be available. I said yes. So today we have a very right time to discuss right issues, right from scientific research to society to economics, and most importantly, he was telling about to keep that track. It is very important for our students at the college or in the school because we had a few questions from students, those who are reading at class eight or nine. So it's very important for all of us to learn from the experiences what Dr. Rubul Maud had and what he has suggested. I'm very pleased that Dr. Onzon Oza, the principal of Soidwar College readily agreed to have this session and he said that oh we know him we are proud of dr rubul mao would he be available i said yes rubul will be available our student will be with him for at least for two hours because we can understand your paucity of time because you are very busy researcher our then our working president and president of zoological society of assam they are very senior people like our Priyabhata law course are having 30, 40 years of experience in teaching and learning in Assam. And Dr. Bolendo Kumar Das also present here who had 35 years experience as a principal and also chairman of the principal council of Assam. 
we have professors like Hiloji Singh from Borland University and many more from across the nation. And as we all were waiting for this, and I am sure that all are benefited. And I can say finally that this is the beginning only. This is the beginning only. We wish that Dr. Rubul Mahut will be blessing us with his gracious present, maybe digitally or sometimes physically. I Barack Obama, I will look at or not sign up visit of Zounte, Russell will like a Swiss of Visa, the president of America from the Swiss of all again. It was most prominent in the world. Like that, Dr. Rubul Mahout is from Assam, and we are proud of you. Our Amar student book, this I call it, sir, sir, Pamnan, I'm all of Abamoy, Guati University Anim. Our Guati University is specially thankful and grateful to you. Okay? And Guwahati University could create such eminent personality and we wish you good luck and you will be doing lots of good work in your field of research as you are in the number one university in the world and we hope that you will always remember Assam and whenever any opportunity comes please remind us what we can do and we want to do together. Thank you so much. Thank you Soidwar Kolas. Thank you ZSA. And Dr. Zutismita Das is our very dynamic. She is a very dynamic coordinator. Always in all our okay, meetings, webinar, conference, physical or web digital, we always take help from these people, those who are always with us. Lily Bordolo was so serious. He was always asking me, sir, Amar Dura Dura Adi Kotha Kole, Aro everybody enjoy. Moi Kintu Adi Bhoot Bhal Faisu Mane. My personal Mane, my heart is full, words are few. Thank you so much. Hi sir, Bhoot Bhal Lagi Se. Moi Mane, Bihe Ke Kolita Sare, Muk Kwaar Lagya Lagya Moi Ekkhan Te Kuru Ane Da Mane Hobo Sar Moi Hakuru Deke Dahi Bo Amar Eyo. On a stand to look, my beer, a hack of a silver as a log by cook, a leg is a sir. Hoy, last time, you know, I'm a very simple person. I, I do very few things. I don't know, I know only about certain things, but you know, but I'm very, very upset. Bohu is always so you are college cono, Bohu talk by his terrible. Like laboratory technology, medical laboratory technology, Russell, direct Sakuris die. Our boot as a more digolopo can in Okoitia, our principal man and don't take twenty four hours with his colleagues. All our dynamic. Our Telugu Manukini Manamo again a soil work college more monopoly. They are my man as on a cover from Bapuna Puno, Homer, Hokola, Balpua, Lura, they are coming Kunkan College or Pro present Korean. Again, I mean, Singapore, no, Soidwar College is on the top. Therefore, Singapore College of Principal Mukko is a, oh, it's a Marlora. A Marlora to me, it is physically in Singapore. So, I mean, digitally, Soidwar. Aro, my, more valpite, as in Manu, body goes about as one go for a night, YouTube or junk. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, doctor, Doctor Rubul Maut, our Bishak Koi, our Doctor Jugan Kulita, Charlotte Donabat Jonasu, as well as the Yonkarne, a two hole. Service of Doctor Bolenda, sir, pure blood law for sir. Take a total of Donabat Jonasu, our Doctor Jutis Mita, our song Granti. Iman, Dunyake Purisal Nakule, then also Donabat Noi, Makita got a gap on Kursu, a block of color sort. Doctor Rubul Maut, a Rubul Maut. Moroza the Hopona Sekitakon, Protom Ulaute, Purisil. Our Purimo Iman Bibino Zagat, Shop Rosalik Hekitakon Puribolikusu. The Hosagwe, Hekitakon, Amar Homo Rosoligarne, Amar Gaur Rosoligarne, Amanis Nicolas of Pal Rosoligarne, Eta Inspirationer, Etaman Utho. The Hekitakonogamazimani meeting Olusus of Bodekus in Rosolik. 
আৰু পঢ়িছে বেষ্ট চেলাৰ হৈছে ধন্যবাদ জনাইছো আৰু মই আশা কৰিম অসমবাসীৰ হৈ আশা কৰিম যে ডক্টৰ ৰুবুল মাউতে এদিন অসমলৈ নোবেল পুরস্কার আনিবলৈ সক্ষম হব বহুত বহুত আমি একেবাৰে একেবাৰে পুৰা আশীর্বাদ দিছো আৰু দুই হাতৰে আশীর্বাদ দিছো ধন্যবাদুলি <laughs> For Assamese, there is none. There is like only a few people. So we cannot expect much. And, and in order, if they have to get some recognition, we need the number. We need like at least, you know, like at least 100,000 scientists coming out from Assam. And only then something will work. It's just like, it's how evolution works, right? It's not just like, I mean, I have to say, I mean, the reserve of boss blocks, the boss of good luck for it. So that's why I'm not going to go to the boss, right? But like there are thousands of thousands of like seats falling there, right? And but if there's only one seat falling there, it's most likely nothing is going to happen. So I, I think that's that's where we need to, you know, rather than like um you know expecting too much from uh, one person or two person, I think we need to create people. And I think that that that'll lead to some kind of you know good thing. Uh yeah. So <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Now, I would like to request uh, our respected Priyabhata Lohkar, sir, who is the president of the, uh, the Zoological Society of Assam, to kindly speak a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Jurisvita. So, I would like to ask you a question. I would like to ask you a question. বহি পেলাই রুবুল মাহতর কথা খুব শুনে পেলাই এনে লাগিল টপিক এটা নয় না মস্ত বিশ্ব এখন মানুষ আগত দাঙি ধরল আর সাংঘাতিক কথা এটা কলে থাকে যে জিনোম সিকুয়েন্সিং জিনোমর পর আমার যে হেরি হয়ে আছে এটা কিমান উন্নত গবেষণালে গেছে সেই কথাবিল আমি জানি পারলে রুবুল মাহতর মুখে তার কারণে এইখানে কথা কোয়ার কারণে মানে রুবুল মাহতক ধন্যবাদ জানাইছো কিতাব বিভাগ জ্ঞাপন করেছো আর আপনার কিতাব মো পড়া নাই মূল পড়ি গম পাই পেলায় কিন্তু যে বুঝিছো যে আপনার কিতাব খে আমার ছাত্র ছাত্রী সকল যথেষ্ট উপকৃত করিব বা করেছে ইতিমধ্যে এটা কথা মানে আপনার মত নিমিলিল সে হল যে আমি ভারতীয় মানুষের একটু কন্ট্রিবিউশন করা নাই ইন দি ওয়ার্ল্ড অফ সায়েন্স সেই মানে বড় এটা এক মানুষ অফিস মানে কিমা হিস্ট্রি পড়া নাই সায়েন্স অফ হিস্ট্রি বা হিস্ট্রি অফ সায়েন্স মানে পড়া নাই গতি যে আমার সায়েন্টিস্টবিল বা আমার ইনস্টিটিউট যা ইন্ডিয়ান ইনস্টিটিউট অফ টেকনোলজি আছে বা ইন্ডিয়ান ইনস্টিটিউট অফ সায়েন্স আছে বা আমার যিনি রিসার্চ লেবরটরি আছে সেইবিল একটা নিশ্চয় নিত্য নতুন কিছু বস্তু উলিয়াই আছে প্রতি বছরে বা কিনা কিনে হয়ে আছে আর এটা আমার হিউজ পপুলেশন যে সাইন্টিফিক টেম্পারমেন্ট সাইন্টিফিক টেম্পার সেই ক্রিয়েট করবর কারণেও আমার যথেষ্ট অসুবিধা হয়ে আছে আমি লিটারেসি সিমান নাই আমার স্কুল সিস্টেম কথা আপনি অল্প কেছে আমার স্কুল সিস্টেম যে ট্রেডিশনাল মেকলের সিস্টেম গিয়ে আছে আমি নতুন এটা হেরি করবর নাই শিক্ষক নহল লক্ষিমপুর উদ্ধব ভরালি বহুত বস্তু করেছে যে নতুন টেকনোলজি দিয়ে নতুন ইনোভেশন করেছে সেইখানে আনকি ইউএসএও রিকগনাইজ করেছে কেবাটাও বস্তু করেছে সেই কারণে মানে আপনার কোথাও যে আমি গোটাই পিস পড়ে থাকা হেরি নভাবো আমার একটা নেগেটিভ কন্ট্রিবিউশন এই ওয়ার্ল্ড নাই অলপ না অলপ হল কিন্তু এই একবারে আপনি কোয়াটাও হয় যে সাগর খুব মানে এটা এটা টোপাল কিন্তু সেই এটা টোপালেই লগ লাগি বহুত হয় গোটাই মানে আশা করি 
আপনি হার্ভার্ডত থাকি আমার ইয়ার ছাত্র ছাত্রী আমার ইয়ার অধ্যাপক অধ্যাপক আমার ইয়ার গবেষক গবেষিকাসক এনে ধরনের উদ্বুদ্ধ করে ল যাব সে আপনার চেষ্টা করবো বলে আশা করল আর আমার এই জিলি সোসাইটি আসামের যে ফরম এই ফরমের জড়িয়ে আপনি নিশ্চয় আমার ছাত্র ছাত্রী সকল বিশেষ করে বায়োলজিক্যাল সায়েন্স আপনার যথেষ্ট উন্নত গবেষণা করেছে আর আমার সমাজের কন্ট্রিবিউশন আছে সেইখিন আমার সকলকে উদ্বুদ্ধ করে আগবাই নিব পড়ি মো আশা রাখি আর মো কিন্তু আপনার উপর বিশ্বাস আছে মো আকো আপনার পুনের ধন্যবাদ আর অভিনন্দন জানাই মানুষ পূরিয়া সামরি থ্যাংক ইউ Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now, moving on, we have with us uh, a respected Dr. Balindra Kumar Das, sir, who is the working president of the Logical Society of Assam. So, I would like to request, sir, to kindly say a few words. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Dr. Rubul Mao, Center of Attraction today in this session. Honorable Principal of Saudiwar College, my brother, Dr. Anjan Uza, HOD Geology and Coordinator, Dr. Lili Bordeloy, our own very energetic head of the Department of Geology, Gohanti University, Professor J.C.K. Jogen Sandra Kolita. We're very proud that Dr. Jyoti Smita and Dr. Sankranti is giving all the best from their part to run this show. Respected faculty members of Saudiwar College, students, staff, respected participants from all over the globe, whoever is participating in this webinar. Today is a historic moment for Assam that Assam is hosting one of his son from Harvard and that too, Rubul Mao is having with him what we say as Mati Gund. He is having the flavor of the soil of Assam and he is expressing his mind to all of us in a very different way, which should be the critical analysis of going for interactive session. Why do we go for interactive sessions? Today we are having an interactive session with Dr. Rubul Mao from Harvard. Actually, this interactive session, I believe, give the students to go for critical thinking and critical thinking skills to develop. That's why whatever has been spoken by Dr. Rubul Mao as the president of Geological Society of Assam, respected Priyabrata Lohakar has put rightfully that yes, we are also doing something here in this part of the globe. And basically, Rubul Mautor Logot, Moy Atakotha Dak Mot, Jami, Jeneke Amar Bigani Hokolok. Homajor or Nino Storole Agborhai Nibolagisil. He puribek to Amiate, create Kuribo Poranai. Take a Zitu Kotha Kuise. The agricultural evolution, yes, we had it. Harad Borkor Honmanio, Odhan Montri, Prato Lal Bahadur Sastri, sixty five or Pakistan, Aru India, Judhor Piso, the Joy Juan. Jai Kishan Dhoni Disile. Tar Pisote, Bharat Borkot, Dr. Swami Nathanor, Natri Tot, the Krikhi Biplo Barambo Huisil, Tarpisot Lahela Hayami, Krikhir Ketrot, Ba, Krikhir Production or Ketrot, Sufficient Hobole Agbar is Lukio. We have seen with our own eyes in 1962 famine in India. Hey, do you have a homoto? Quick, quick interjection. I actually. I actually wrote about that in my book. <laughs> there's a chapter of that. Thank you. Thank there's, you so much. There's a, there's a chapter. There's a chapter. Yeah, there's a chapter on. Yeah, a chapter on Norman Bollock, who was actually the real hero of the agricultural revolution. Norman Bollock was. A, a, you know, exactly. 
yeah so he he was in mexico Thank and you. you know doing uh, all this hydrel yeah so uh no uh, my point is uh, i am uh, honestly i am uh, saying you to uh, you uh, saying to you that moi moru eta hopun ase eta loge porha nai aji moyo hopun eta dekhisu hekhon porhibo so he to dithok hobo ke din man pisote moru eta hopun ase moru eta hopun hok moi due din te hodu porhim porhi pelai moi tar majot humai jabo parim aru ei je bisitro jibonor hositro jibon kahini ei hositro jibon kahini amak ki kore जीपाल रखे मैं कैसो आरम्भे माटिर गुण थका रुबुल माउते जीखि कथा कैसे डेस वाई रुबुल माउट इज रुबुल माउट डेस वाई केन थिंक क्रिटिकली खूब आपफ्रंट हिसाब से जीवन कमार मजलि उलिया आनी से बहुते हूँ सभी कथा अकान कवर आप कर पे गिविंग आइसिंग द टप अब ए केक पे कथा कब जी रुबुल माउते शिका ना रुबुल माउते ग्रास रुटर निजे लेडर उठी पे आगे जाऊते जीखी पासे एक्सप्रेस कर बुझीसू एने क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग आम ला साल जी एनालिटिकल रिजनींग क्वेश्चन आस्किंग जी बस्तु आम आज मैं देखी इते एनालिटिकल रिजनींग क्वेश्चन आस्किंग ला 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 डेभलप हम धरी से ज्ञान क्षेत्र आगिया भाषा तो विज्ञानी विषय विज्ञान समिति काम करज्ञानी बुले पे एन कब उलिये गई कम हम आम ला साल जी कथा रुबले एक्सप्रेस कर डर रुबुल माउते मन क्षोभ होज्ञानी समाज विभिन्न स्तर ले आग बढ़ा आनी पे द्वारा काम प्रकृत मूल्यायन कर प्रकृत स्थान दिवस जी चेस्ा लगे उचित और आज जी एक्सक्लूसिव एंड भेरि भेरि एंटरटेनिंग वंडारफुल सेन सेनटे छयार कलेज विभिन्न कलेज जिस पार्टिशिपेन्ट्स आसोट कथा निश्चय शिकाब जे आम क्रिटिकल एनलिश कर रुबले स्पोकन इट भेरि फ्रेंकलि हार्भार्डले जाने सपोन देखिले सपोन तो हाकार कर मजदू हेव टू ब्रीज द गेप गति के गेप टू ब्रिजिंग करें कि चेस्ा और ओकान्तिक साधना लगे सही कथा डर रुबुल माउते आम ला साल बुझा पारि से बी भाविये आटाइके मूक सूधा दियारे धन्यवाद जाना सर्वे सन्तु सुखी नर्वे सन्तु निरामय सर्वे भद्राणी पश्यंतु मा कच्छित दुख भग भवेद बक्तव्य सामने मारी आत धन्यवाद नमस्कार अल द बेस्ट टू रुबुल और आम सब एक्सपेक्ट करेस रुबुले भवार दर डर उल टीम अब एसमिज उल ब्रिंग लरेल्स टू एसाम और आम एदीन नबेल प्राइजर सपोन हकार कोई बो पारी धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू आह ओवर तू संत्रांति थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर योर ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स आह सो एस वी हैव कम तू द एंड ऑफ टुडे इस ब्यूटीफुल गेट इंस्पायरिंग सेशन आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट आर रेस्पेक्टेड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जूलॉजी बहुत कलेज मान खुजी खुजी नमस्कार 
ভিডিও তো অফ করলো তোমার নেটওয়ার্ক এর প্রবলেম আছে প্রবলেম অঞ্জন কুমার ওজা স্যার ফর অর্গেনাইজিং দ্য ইভেন্ট ইন এসোসিয়েশন উইথ দ্য জুলজিক্যাল সোসাইটি অফ আসাম এন্ড ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ জুলজি গুহাটি ইউনিভার্সিটি আই ওয়ান্ট টু থ্যাঙ্ক আওয়ার মোস্ট এনকারেজিং teacher again head of the department of geology uh, and, and uh, uh, general secretary of geological society of assam professor jogen konsandra kolita sir again i want to thank uh, priyabrata lokar sir for always uh, being present and being, uh, uh, to inspire us and i want to thank dr bolen bolendra kumar das sir sir also always uh, sir uh, being present in the, the sessions and sir always encourage us uh, i want to thank our very uh, supporting coordinator uh, lili baidyo lili baidyo lili uh, bordoloi baidyo uh, who is also the head of the department of geology of soidwar college uh, because whenever i contact by contact baidyo for different work she instantly give me permission to be, uh, do this without any question asking questions i want to uh, thank sankranti devi research scholar department of geology guwahati university again rajasri deka kekhob juti pura and our most supporting juganta jyoti das uh, for always assisting us in organizing this kind of webinar i i am thankful thankful to all the participants especially professor hilo jyoti sinha all the senior and the uh, junior faculty members from different institutions like cotton university dorong college uh, nagao college uh, and uh, cnp college again koliyabur uh, uh, college and i am very happy to see many more participants from all over assam all over the northeast again i have also seen the different faculty members from jb college also today so we are very thankful to all of you uh, for being present and always supporting us thank you so much sir thank you thank you so much ma'am uh, now i would like to request uh, professor jugendendra kalita sir Uh, to kindly declare the closing of the webinar okay thank you sankranti once again i thank dr rubul maud for his valuable time and also the very lively interactive program i thank the principal the president of jdsa working president jdsa vitish mitra sankranti and their team really bordolo all faculty members of various universities and institution colleges of assam today maybe more than 60 colleges participated in our program including nagaon college autonomous jb college autonomous north lobenbu college autonomous and many colleges including all the colleges of guwahati city i am very grateful to all participants because without your presence we cannot hold this type of program and once again wish all the best to dr rubul maud and his team and we hope that this is the beginning and we will be having lot many more interactive sessions whenever uh, rubul will be able to give us his time 
thank you so much thank you all and good night and dr full mouth have a good day thank you thank you so much okay bye bye yeah thank you thank you all thank you all thank you thank you so much sir iman obhida hoise karan meri karane